Greetings from MNI Hospital. This is a case of refractive implantable lens, the RIL by Apaswami, which is a hydrophilic acrylic material with an optic size of 4.5 to 5 mm and an overall size between 11.50 to 13 mm, which has a refractive index of 1.460 diopters. Fill the cartridge with sufficient viscoelastic. Make sure that the hole is pointing upper right corner. Carefully remove the lens by holding the haptics and place it in the cartridge. The best part is the loading. Make sure that you see that the dialing hole in the corner are in the top right and bottom left corner. The loading is as simple as any foldable intraocular lens. Make sure that the edges do not get caught while folding. Inject some amount to make sure the free flow of the RIL. The side ports are made on either sides. And then the keratome entry clear corneal with 2.8 mm incision is done. Do not overfill the anterior chamber and just touch the eye to see the firmness. After stabilizing the globe with a second instrument, we take in the loaded lens cartridge into the 2.8 mm and start injecting. After injecting halfway through, I actually wait for the leading flaps to open like the wings of the butterfly and then start injecting to make sure that the lens does not flip inside the anterior chamber. Inject visco over the RIL and then slowly start tucking all the four haptics under the iris. The important point is go to the periphery and then with a slight depression try to go under the iris. The same technique is done on the either sides. After centering the RIL comes the most important step of washing away the viscoelastic from the anterior chamber completely. Sometimes I go with the irrigation port near the hole so that it goes under the lens and pushes away the visco in between the RIL and the anterior lens capsule. Spend a lot of time, either a minute or two, to wash the visco out completely from the anterior chamber, from the angles and as much as possible in between the lenses. Peripheral iridectomy is an option depending upon the surgeon's comfort. All the ports are hydrated and the tension of the eye is checked. Here are some post-op images with the slit lamp to see the vaulting which is present. Anterior segment OCT also shows sufficient vaulting which is present of around 530 microns and 489 microns. Thank you.